How was your 2021? My 2021 was good. A lot happened in 2021. I have I've been really going up and up and up and up and up since my last interview. 2021 was like, you know, for everybody, it just was crazy or whatever, you know, with COVID and shutdowns and releases and all that stuff. But in between all the all those things, like, you know, I figured out a way to uh, succeed in, you know, everything. I'm not the type of person that lets something stop me or hold me back. So I just can't go outside. Okay, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do inside or can't do this. I'm going to figure it out a different way. I'm going to figure out a type of person. So really the world can end tomorrow and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to put all the rocks that fell back together and make me a little hut. Now, speaking of COVID-19, did you ever catch it in 2021? No, and thank God I never caught COVID. RIP to the people who did catch COVID. And if you're going to catch it now and stuff like that, I'm sorry. COVID is serious. I'll take COVID seriously because people are losing their lives to it. But thank God I never caught COVID. Ever? Ever. Okay. Care to share your vaccine status? My vaccine status? No. Okay. What's one thing you're leaving in 2021? One thing I'm leaving in 2021, really, I'm trying to leave all these hating ass bitches in 2021. Really, because God dang, like, y'all don't see me go from uh, the other show to getting ridiculed by the world to this, that, and third. And these hating ass bitches, y'all keep following me. I'm trying to leave y'all hoes in 2021 for real. Leave me the fuck alone. If you could redo one thing over in 2021, however, what would it be and why? If I could redo anything in 2021, I probably wouldn't have dated that YouTuber and probably dated me a trap nigga. One word for you to sum up 2021. Blessed. Now, how's 2022 looking for you? 2022 is looking lovely. It's looking great, really. It's really it's looking on the up and up. I got a lot of stuff coming up. I got a lot of music, my show, and business opportunities, and everything. So, you know, 2022 is looking great so far. And I'm just hoping, like, me and everybody else is going to be able to succeed in the year 2022. Because I don't know what's going to come up in 22. But... Any of these aspects you just mentioned you want to elaborate on for the viewers watching? Well, my music, I got another EP coming out. I haven't got a name of it yet, but I think I'm going to call it Bad Bitch Music because that's what I make. I make Bad Bitch Music. I make music for your coochie. I make music to like let y'all understand how to level up your coochie and take your coochie to the next level. You know, my music, like, when people say they don't like my music, I'd be like, it's okay, because I make bad bitch music. And if you don't like my music, you're just not a bad bitch. Cut it off. Go cut on something else. Go to, go cut on I Am A Boring Bitch music. That's what you need to listen to, because that's not what I make. So I'm sorry if you can't, you know, if you don't, if you can't get with it. But Big Lakes Baddies Collection airs January 16th, 2022. And, you know, it's out of Miami, and it's my show. So that's coming, and that's going to be great. That's going to be lit. You know, I got uh, 16, I think 16 girls. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. But I got 16 girls, and they all competed for 10K. They did activities, paintball, dodgeball, all this stuff. You know, they lived in the house. They got into it with each other. Of course, it's life. You know, people always want to run their mouth and say, Oh, they only fight, don't they? Okay, people fight. Get over it. Watch the show. It's not just everybody in the house fighting. It's more in depth, you know? I really put a lot of thought behind it. My team put a lot of thought behind it. I gave out $10,000. And Big Lex Bad Collection is like the new, new of 2022. What was your role with this specifically? And where can people actually get a chance to see it? My role is being Big Lex. It's called Big Lex Badge Collection Miami. And I brought in 16 girls to compete. And I'm just showing them, like, a way to be a bad bitch without having to do weird or degrading things. You know, because one girl on the show, she actually was trying to play me. 
and so I was degrading her, but I had to break it down to her that I wasn't. You know, it, it's just like, I was showing them how to be a bad bitch and stand on what you are as a bad bitch. Because, you know, when I was on the other show, a lot of people said after the show that I gave them, like, the motivation and the what they needed to be able to stand on what they wanted to stand on, you know? So some girls came in the house, they had a lot of confidence or they didn't have, you know, a backbone and stuff like that. And I gave them the opportunity to really express themselves how they want to express themselves. Like sometimes people need a little push. So the girls that need a little push, I gave them a little push. And the girls who needed to sit the fuck down, I told them, you know, sit the fuck down. But you know, overall, they all had a great time and it was lit. And y'all can watch Big Legs Badge Collection Season 1 Miami on at Now That's TV on Instagram. Now That's TV is an app that's going to be on. Well, it's out now and it's on all TVs, you know. Just go to Instagram at Now That's TV. You can subscribe. The link is in my bio. The link is in their bio. And just subscribe. It's just like any other network. So that's it. You will subscribe in January 16th, 2022. You will be watching it because there's a lot of more shows that's going to be picked up on that network. It is a new network. And it's for, like, influencers and people, you know, that have shows that they want to pitch and things like that. Like YouTubers and TikTokers and stuff like that. Because there's, like, a show coming on there. It's called Coming Up LA. It's, like, for YouTubers and TikTokers, you know. So that's what it is. It's just, like, the network and I are creating something very big for the world, for young people and for old people. But, you know, just for in the new age, so that's what we're trying to do. Now, you refer to another show, but you didn't name it. Care to share the name of the other show you were on previously? Um, the other show that I was on, you know, I don't, I really don't want to speak on it. Y'all know, y'all know I'm a big lady, motherfucking flex. So y'all know I'm a big boy. Y'all know what the fuck going on. I don't got to tell y'all. Y'all, y'all know me. Stop playing with me. Now, what are you doing different in 20? 22, if anything. Only thing I'm doing in 2022 is being a batter bitch, doing more business-like things, continue to elevate, continue to go up, continue to stay safe, continue to build, you know. Cause this, my thing is I can't never not be a bad bitch. And I feel like the day I stop being a bad bitch, not just the way I look, not just the way I talk, not the way I present myself, but the work that I put in. As long as I can put in some type of work all the time, constantly, then I feel like 23, 24, 25, and 26, we gonna, I'm going to be good every year. So in 2022, y'all just going to see more. Like I told y'all last time, y'all going to see more big legs. Y'all going to see more big legs. That's just that simple. What aren't you tolerating in 2022? I'm not tolerating no broke niggas. I'm not tolerating you bitches. I'm not tolerating no more disrespect from nobody. I talked about my teeth. I went and got my teeth done. I didn't get my teeth done because of y'all. I got my teeth done for the culture. Okay? I got my teeth done to show y'all when y'all get a bag, how to elevate with the bag. You know? I ain't had to get my teeth done. Like, RP my gap. Shout out to G Gap Gang. It's still Gap Gang. It's still Gap Gang. You feel me? But I got my teeth done for the culture. Just, just to show people when you get a bag... Do something with the bag, you know, like, just do something with it, like, start a business, get your teeth done, get your body done, get your dick enhanced, do something. Now, when it comes to your teeth, when did you actually get this done? I got my teeth done, uh, like, two months ago. Sorry, I can't remember the exact date, but yes, two months ago. And for time reference, it's December 2021 at this point. What was the reaction when you went public with the new teeth? Everybody hates my teeth. Uh, like, y'all motherfuckers hated the gap. Talked about my gap. Talked about the little gums I had in between the gap and all that stuff. Then I get my teeth done. Y'all don't like my new teeth. So I was like, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> I'm going to just punch one of them out, and I'm just going to have, like, one tooth missing. Maybe that would be a little better. The one tooth on y'all ass, that, that's going to do it. Now, it's one thing for people to react to it and have their own opinion. What is your own personal opinion 
before you had the, uh, w- when you were natural with your teeth and then with the uh, new set of teeth? Well, the only thing that I can say that is kind of difficult with my new teeth is that if I thought I had a list before, I have an extreme one now, and it's harder to talk for me without it sounding like I'm whistling. <laughs> Cause I know I haven't been used to like having just straight teeth going across. So, you know, that, that's just the only thing. I like it though, I, I like it and you know, I appreciate my teeth, but that's just the only thing that's kind of kind of strange. It's just, you know, the little more hardcore lisp. You like the newer set of teeth or do you like the uh, natural set of teeth you had? Mm, I like the natural set of teeth that I had. Like when I go and look at like old videos of me and stuff like that, I'm like, aww. You know, but it reminds me of where I was. And then these teeth remind me of where I'm going. So I can appreciate both sets. Now, I would like to talk to you about the new set of teeth in its own conversation. But just to keep things short, because I have other questions about 2022. Uh, care to share what t- what this is called that you actually got done? Oh, well, what I had got done is, like, because y'all know I had a big-ass gap. So I had to get, like, uh, a bridge because I didn't. I was born without eye teeth, so that's what happened. I got it all. I got it all fixed. But I got is that it, Cardi B going on. But is it is it uh, called veneers? Yeah, they're veneers. Okay. I, I think they're veneers, yeah. I know there are different types of veneers. Do you know what type this is in particular? I don't know what type. I had all my paperwork. I spent a bag on them though. So they the real type of teeth, <laughs> like for real. Care to share the price tag on them? No, I don't care to share the price tag, but just know I dropped a whole bag and it's a whole lot of money. I don't, cause he's like, people will be like, be talking shit about my teeth and stuff like that. But just know I, I dropped a bag and I hope you hold so in ain't cheap. Now, When it comes to 2022, and I apologize if some of these questions sound similar to each other. If you feel like you've answered it already, you could skip it, okay? But uh, what do you want to what do you want to happen in 2022? I want Big Legs Baddies Collection Miami season one to be a number one show on Now That's TV on every platform. I wanted to succeed because I really put my all into it. The girls that were on the show, they did really good. I couldn't ask for a better cast, you know? And I also want my music to go and continue to go to the next level. Those are the things that I have in my life right now. I've been doing music all my life and that's just something I'm never gonna stop doing. So I just wanted to elevate. I want my music to elevate. I want my music to go to the next level. I want my show to elevate. I want my show to go to the next level. Name your top three goals for 2022. Big Legs Baddies Collection, number one. Big Legs, the artist, the rapper, number one. And anything else Big Legs is doing to be number one. What's your number one priority for 2022? My music. My music is my number one priority. Even though I have the show, I'm a rapper before I... I mean, this this reality TV thing is cool. I love it. But I'm a rapper. I make music. You know, I eat, sleep, shit, fuck music. So that's what I want to do. You know, that's my main goal. That's what, that's what, that's who Big Lex is. That's who Big Lex motherfucking flexor is. A rapper. I make music. I'm an artist. So that's what my number one priority thing is. And let me back up. And zoom out for one second. When we were talking about the teeth, just for chronological purposes, did you get the teeth done before the new show or after it? Yes, I got my teeth done before the new show, most definitely, so I could really talk to these hoes how I really need to without them staring in my motherfucking mouth and getting smacked across their face because they're wondering about my gap. Now, I know in your previous answer, your response, you said you got it done for the culture. Be honest, though. Did you get it done for the show? No. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. I really, I, my teeth to me really wasn't an issue for me. It's just that I was like, you know, 
So new show, new teeth. I'm gonna talk to these hoes properly. That's that's what that's just it, you know. I want to be brand new with everything. What are you doing, the first day of 2022? <sighs> the the very first day. I'm gonna throw a little ass. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna spread a little ass. I, I got to. <laughs> it's just only right. I just gotta spread a little ass. Predictions for 2022. For 2022, my prediction is everybody going to elevate. Everybody going to live a little better. Everybody going to feel a little more calmer. You know, I don't see a lot of people having like, oh, 2022, my New Year's resolution. Because I think everybody a little scared. You feel me? Everybody should be scared. Ever since goddamn 2019, 2020 hit shit was just off the wall. But I think everybody is going into it real nice and smooth. And I do think 2022 is going to be a good year. My final question. Involving 2022. Any advice for 2022? Do you. Do you, y'all. People is out here dying and dead. Scared and hiding. Just do you. Just just, just do you because we honestly don't know what's going to happen. So it will, it will suck ass if you just continue to live in fear. Live safe. But don't live in fear. Like, just just be happy. Like, just do something. Just get active. Just stay active. That's that's my biggest thing. That's, that's just what I want to tell everybody. Like, even if you in the house, be active. 